So welcome to Thursday's early bird. Hit for a workout. One minute intervals, 15 seconds off. Two minutes at the beginning to get us all warmed up. So I'm gonna start my timer and we will get started. Now, so you're just gonna take your legs out two, second one and one, two. Assume we'll squat to warm the legs up. So we'll do a little two minute warm up. Keep going. Okay, so you're going to add the arms up and over. Warm up the upper body as well. Okay, come on up to tall, hands on your shoulders, and we'll do some torso rotations to warm up the core a little bit. Okay, come to center. We're gonna do a little squat, reach it up. Down. Come on up, give your shoulders a roll. You get 15 seconds now. I'm going to show you the first exercise. Here's your preview. So you're gonna step out, lunge, and then reach out to the side. So that's your first one. With or without weight. Ready? Here we go. So let it, if this is too hard on your shoulder, you're gonna go out to that external rotation. It's a step and lunge and reach. Keep going. And again, these are one minute intervals. We get that 15 second window to see the preview of the next exercise. Keep going. You got 20 seconds left on the side. Okay, switch it to the other side. 15 seconds and then we go. Ready? Out you go. And lift. Yeah. Let's go. Keep it in. You're halfway there. Five more seconds. All right, grab a medium to heavy weight. You're gonna do an inside and outside bicep. So it's here and then back to neutral. 
Ready, go. Up, down, now turn it out and lift. So you may want to go lighter on these ones because they're a little bit harder on that outside piece. And lift. Good, up. Out. Keep moving. Up. Take it out. And lift up. And out. Get 20 seconds left, go. And out. Keep moving. Take it up. And out. And lift. Good. Take it up. And there. Okay, come on down onto the mat. So we're going to do a side leg lift. So you can either be down on your side, lifting, or you're up, over, and lift. All right, you can choose which way you want to work. Here we go. And lift. If you're in that up stance, make sure that your, your pelvis is right in alignment. Everything's tucked in and nice and aligned. Keep going. Halfway there. Twenty seconds left on this side. All right, come on down. We're going to switch to the other side. Give Ten seconds to get all set up. In five we go. Go. Keep going. Seconds left on this side. Twenty left. Good. Let's keep working it. Ten more. Okay, come on down. Press your right leg over left. And it's a press full twist cross. So you're coming across to that leg that's crossed over. Ready and go. So if you have to modify it because of your back, just Keep your range of motion on the lower lift with the legs smaller so that you're not having to bring the foot down to the floor. Halfway there. Twenty seconds. Okay, switching sides. Get ready for it. We have another 10 seconds rest.
ready and go. Thirty seconds. We're gonna do a little cardio interval for your next one. I'm gonna give you some options for that if you have knee issues and you want to keep it fairly low impact for knee back issues. Okay, come on up. Here it is. If you want to keep it low impact, it's a low jack. For those of us that are going to do the high jack, you're going out and touching and alternating. Great. Here we go. We'll get moving on this one. Keep going, you have 20 seconds left. Ten more. Five more. Okay, grabbing medium to heavy weight, small pressure. This is where we are. All right. So let if you want to do a kickback instead, go for it. Let's go. Push it up. Keep breathing and moving. Good, you get 20 seconds left. Okay, so your next one is a squat with a thrust or twist. So, again, if you have shoulder issues, I'll give you an alternative. You're coming up, twist, and and we're alternating from side to side. Shoulder issues, here it is. So you're not doing the arms. This one, if you have shoulder issues, the rest of us. Do this one. Go deep on those squats if you can. Keep going. Okay, come on down. Weighted crunch. Or go without the weight if you need to. 
So coming up this way, shoulders come off. You've done these ones before. Five more seconds on this one. And up you come. All the way up. Next cardio PC donkeys and it's low impact. So you're doing these. Alright, so we're doing one side and then we're going to switch it. I want you to try and do as many as you can in one minute. Go. Use the arms and pump the leg. Core tight, keep it engaged, and move. So still working, legs, working core, working arms. Let's go. Keep working. seconds left. Five more. All right, grab your band. We did these when we did our band workout two weeks ago. Grab low. We're here and we're pushing up through that front heel as you move. Ready? Here it is and go. So grab low so that you're working hard. Open the shoulders up. Everything else stays neutral. So you are gonna feel your glutes, quads, hamstrings of these ones. Keep going. You're halfway there on this one. Almost there. All right, let's switch it. Other side, grab low and go. Ready? Five seconds. 
go. Keep working it. Keep moving. Make sure that core stays engaged so that you're supporting the low back. Good. Almost there. All right, come on down. Core work. One weight in hand. Coming across to that opposite leg. So lots of oblique today. Ready, chest, press, cross, go. Keep going. Halfway there on this side. Twenty seconds left. All right, switching sides. Get ready to move. Ready and go. Ten seconds left. All right, come on up. Use your cardio interval. Little key here. So, for those of you that want to keep it low impact, you're just turning up and down. All right. For the rest of us, we are going to do burpees, and you know what those are. Ready? Coming down. Go out and in. And then back up. So move at your own pace. So either you're doing that little flat squat or the burpee. Keep moving. One. So four to the left. 
and four to the right. Go. Keep going. Good. change. I just thought we'd do a little cardio piece in between and mash it up a little bit. So keep moving on that floor. Done. All right, you're going to grab medium to light weight. Medium to light. And we are going to do a reverse fly, but you're turning your hands around so that your palms are facing me, and we're coming up. If that's not comfortable for your shoulders, you can go back to a neutral posture with the hands, back to the hands facing me. So let's go. Bring it up. So make sure that spine, albeit that we're bent over, is neutral. Working that mid-back, let's go. Keep it moving. Pull it up. Keep going. done with those, come on down. We're going to do a weighted bridge. So here it is. Take one weight rested on your hips. We've got knees, hips come up. Or you can go without weight. Go. Push up through those heels. Core is engaged. Everything's in alignment. Keep going. Let's keep it moving. Kick out to the side. There's no weight involved. So just squat and kick. All right, just do what you can. Your level, your range of motion. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Glutes and obliques on these ones. Quads as well. So the squat gives you your grounding and then you have to get up and balance. Let's go. Grab two medium to light weight, two medium to light, and we are going to do front arm raises. Go. Let's 
Let's keep it moving. Right there. 20 seconds left on this one. Ten more. So you're going to go heavy on one side. I'm just going to double these weights up. So pick something heavier and we're doing those little side bends and up. Okay, so that's the next one. Soften the knees, core is engaged, go. We go. So we'll do half an interval on one side and then half on the other. Ready to change it? Switch sides. Ready? And go. Two minutes so the rest of it's going to be core work so you're going to bring your legs up with and without the weight back is imprinted going out and in ready out draw it in take it out and in That back imprinted. You're halfway there on this one. Keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Extend your left leg out to hover. If you have a back issue, soften the knee. Don't take the leg as low. And we're crunching it this way. So coming up to meet that leg. Modify where you need. Go. This will be your last two exercises because you have to do the other side and then we'll do a little stretch. Keep going.
You good. Halfway there. position. Runner stretch. So that gives you 38 minutes of full-on work with a stretch at the end. Again, I will post this this afternoon on YouTube and then send it to Nicole so she can post it on our network. Soles of the feet together. Little inner thigh stretch, pelvic floor, sit tall and come forward a little bit. All right, bring the legs together. Let's bring it up to a standing position. We'll do a quad stretch. So bring it up. Quad stretch, tuck the pelvis under, nice length there. All right, other side. Position. Open up the back forward, hands together. Pull the hands in. We'll stretch the lower arms. Drop the hands behind. Give it a lift. One big inhale up. One exhale. One more. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Please give me feedback and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, this will be online.